Well, I think one of my favorite sales stories, and if you're a Cutco person listening to this, uh, you've probably heard it before. And if you haven't, you're gonna. Uh, I really love this story. But I met a guy named Donnie, and Donnie runs a company that uh, tests people's pee for drugs, <laughs> and he's got the best sense of humor in, uh, in have the to. world. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the the pee testing industry, I guess you have to, right? So, um, best senses of humor have always come from the people I've met, that the morticians I've met. And then the people I meet that, that travel around and, and do pee testing for truckers. So, but, uh, that's what Donnie does. So, and, uh, Donnie came up to me and he's one of those get to the point kind of guys, you know, I'm, I'm standing at a, at a trade show. I've got a booth set up. I'm selling my, you know, stuff. And he's like, you know, I, I knew from somebody I'd met that Donnie was like a good prospect, right? And so when I finally got the chance to meet Donnie, I knew he was a good prospect. So I had the confidence to, when he was like, show me what you got, I showed him everything. How much is it? It's this much. I'm never going to spend that much. Right. And, uh, uh, show me something else. So I showed him something else and he bought it and I was like, wow, that was really easy. Right. And I, uh, um, so I just, because it was so easy, I had the confidence to show him more. I was like, well, Hey, since you, you know, since you're getting that, let me go and show you this other thing. And you know, we just went through this process of like him shooting me down, him asking questions, me asking questions, showing him more stuff. And you know, I just kept selling him stuff, you know, I'd sell him something else. And then, you know, I, I sold him something else that was like, you know, uh, a, a, a gift package and, uh, with, you know, company logos on it and stuff like that. And then he was like, all right, I'll take it. And I was like, gosh, that was really a lot easier than it normally is or that I thought it would be. So maybe I should try some more, you know, and I just kept convincing myself that this was easy, uh, than it is easier than it should be. And so I should keep showing him some stuff. Right. Um, and eventually we get to the point where like, I think he added on 10 different things, right. That I showed him and 10 different packages I showed him. And at, at the end, he was finally like, all right, that's it. I'm done. Don't show me anything else. Right. And so I'm like, all right, I'm counting it all up. And he's like, how much have I spent? And what was funny was that the amount that he had spent was exactly what I told him the whole package was when he first <laughs> asked. And, uh, and he told me like, oh, I'm not spending that much, whatever. But, um, he was excited about it. You know, I remember telling him, I was like, how oh, funny it's like this much. And he goes, oh my gosh, like, I, how'd you do that? Right. You're really good. And I was like, thanks. Um, I remember driving home that like at that time it was the biggest sale I'd ever had in my career. Right. And the guy standing next to me, cause I never worked by myself when I'm at trade shows. I think it's a dumb thing to do, but, uh, the guy that's standing next to me, his mouth was on the floor <laughs> and I was, my mouth was on the floor. And I remember driving home that night and thinking to myself, like something special happened there. You know, you get that giddy feeling where like you had your best sales day and you had your best order ever. And you're like, Oh, that was amazing. I like to ask myself questions in those moments. Like, okay, what caused that to happen? What did I do right? What could I do better? You know, were there opportunities I missed? I like to just get inside and start to, you know, re like I reevaluate those situations and figure out what I can learn from that to, to, to keep moving forward. And that's where I discovered my training. I call mastery of upset observing. Right. And that's where I realized that what I was doing there was I used a specific step-by-step -step strategy I don't think we have time to cover today, but you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like an hour long training, but, um, that was where I learned, like, there's a process to actually upserving, And when you do it right, most people will let you sell them more stuff once they've said yes. And it's just about understanding what the step-by-step -step is and having fun with that step-by-step -step and following it to a T. And ever since then, I have, I've developed a discipline to always offer every customer that says yes more stuff, no matter what. And, uh, and it's helped me sell far more in the same amount of time than I ever would have if I didn't have this practice in place. So, um, and it was just about, you know, figuring out like, oh, wow, I sold something big to somebody and I had the confidence to show them more stuff. And, you know, then when they said yes to more stuff, I had the confidence to keep showing them stuff and get to the point where they finally told me like, that's it, I'm done. And, you know, and I just, saw it as my responsibility to show them all of the value they can take advantage of um, and let them determine when they're done. Yeah. yeah. Right. And as a result, like um, we, I know there's people all over the country who are using that practice and, you know, and it's really impacting their business in a really positive way. So, and I get to do it too, you know, every day. Love it. Great, so. great story. It reminds me, uh, you might want to check out a book. There's a great book called mm -hmm. go for no. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm read actually, that? Yep. Yep. If you watch the DVD, I'm in that DVD. 